Hey, I've got a temporary fix for the Berseria PC uh, AI issues. Uh, this is a disclaimer. Uh, there is a better way to do it. You can use, I think it's called Virtual Joy or something. You can emulate four extra controllers and have it work that way. But I've heard people say that it's messed with uh, controller detection or recognition in other games. And it messes with drivers and stuff. So if you have any problems, you're probably going to have to mess around with your device manager and system restore. Now, obviously, for something that should have been working in the first place, I don't know how they didn't catch this. <laughs> when they were doing QA testing, if they did any at all, it seems like they didn't if they didn't catch uh, something that you can find easily. You can easily reproduce within the first two hours of gameplay. Then uh, you can do it this way. This will make it so that at least one party member will act normally. Now, the other party member seems to still be very lethargic, so <laughs> uh, you might want to put your mage or your melee character on that... Uh, you know, on that controller, a virtual controller. So you guys can't see it right now, but the first step is to get DS4 Windows. Um, you can also do this with Input Mapper. Uh, I don't know which program you prefer. I'm sure most of you probably have that installed by now. If you don't, then <laughs> it might be good to get it. Uh, you know, the Steam beta client, obviously it's still in beta. It's still got a little bit of issues, so you can just use this. So what I'm going to do, you're going to hear the, uh, you're going to hear the USB sound go off. So right now I have it open. And then you just load up the game. Take a little bit here. There we go. So you want to go to controller settings. Uh, now that you have DS4 Windows open, uh, what will happen is the game will think that you have two controllers set up. For some reason, it doesn't uh, it doesn't cause any conflicts. Uh, usually, when you do stuff like this, if you try to use uh, a DS4 Windows or X, X, uh, what is it called Input Mapper program, uh, the controls will overlap and mess up and basically make it unplayable. For some reason, I don't know what it is with this game, but it actually works fine. So what you can do is you can put player 2 on the, the DS4 Windows uh, emulated controller and have it work that way. So then you just go into the game. So at this point uh, you will have one character that'll be set to a controller and you can set him or her to auto and uh, they'll actually react or act way more often than they would without it. Put it on uh, normal mode really quick. Get into a quick battle. You're fighting the Reaper. Another battle. You can see Aizen is still uh, very lethargic and inactive. But Rokuro, you could actually hear him quite a bit. He was pretty much going crazy like he's supposed to. <laughs> so let me get to another battle. Now, if you want to switch uh, whichever character is actually going to have the functional AI, you can just switch them like that, so this way uh, Laffy Set would be more active. We'll go ahead and go with Rokuro again because it'll be more obvious that he's active. This 
soul gauge is a little low right now, but you can tell he's way more active. <laughs> he's not doing the Dynasty Warriors Peon stand there and, and walk and attack the He's actually very active. Do you like that much hammer again? There you go. If you want to live, get out of my way. So it's a temporary fix. Uh, you shouldn't have to do this at all. They should actually fix and test their products, especially with how much they sell them for. But uh, if you don't want to mess with drivers and you want to at least partially play the game, uh, I'm sure you noticed the, the biggest problem with this issue is that you can't, it's not really apparent. Uh, you don't really get access to a second party member until you're over two hours in. And I'm sure you know the Steam refund policy is, you know, two hours of gameplay or uh, two weeks have passed since you purchased the game. So that's the worst part about this is people are getting misled that the game runs fine from the demo. I kind of feel bad that I made a, a port review for this and then, uh, you know, by the time that you actually get access to Recruo in your party and you can actually fight, uh, you're well past the, uh, the refund period unless you skipped all the cutscenes like I did. So this is a partial way. Uh, I will go ahead and I'll link to the post on the Steam forums with the Virtual Joy method, but I've heard people say that it's messed with controller recognition in other games. So I don't know about you, but you buy a $50 game and you really don't want to mess with drivers and stuff to get it to work. So it is up to you. It's your call. I mean, at least this way you'll have two functional party members. You'll have yourself and then you'll have, uh, you know, the other virtual controller will be hooked up and the AI will work that way. You can switch it as you see fit. Uh, it's still not really fit for pretty much doing any of the harder stuff in the game, so like the dire enemies, the wandering enemies, or pretty much anything past normal or moderate mode. is uh, It's not going to be feasible this way, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, I should also mention that this will block out the character switching mechanics, so both the quick switching and the tag combo mechanics that you get later on in the game uh, will not work this way. So it really isn't as much of a workaround as people are saying. Uh, I think the people that are saying that don't have any, uh, you know, they didn't study the Japanese version. They don't know about those mechanics. So if you do progress through the game with the Virtual Joy method, you will be locked out of those mechanics completely, which is, uh, from what I've seen, a pretty big part of the game because you can heal your allies that way and stuff. So uh, it seems like you're just going to have to wait for a patch uh, if you want you know, full parody with the console version, which is unacceptable. Uh, you know, I bought uh, Dragon Ball Universe 2, and that game still has all the crashing bugs and stuff like that. It's been months now, and they haven't fixed it. I hope that since this is a critical bug, and uh, it seems like the game's actually selling pretty well for the kind of niche title it is, that they'll fix it. But uh, in the event that that doesn't happen, at least you can partially play this way. Anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and I'll post a link to the other method in the description. Catch you guys later.